All right, guys, I need you girls, if you wouldn't mind to help us. See all these pajamas over here? Mm -hmm. And I'm Kate, I got another job for you if you wait a minute. I'm well, we were, uh, the principal was kind to enough to give us a locker room. It was full of dust and bugs. We came in, some moms, and we scrubbed it down and cleaned it. And we started off, we just had some bins full of clothes, and we got more and more donations, including all the racks you see, all the shelving hangers, everything. Uh, we just put the need out there and, and people were more than happy to donate to us. Oh my goodness, it's, it really does. It's, it's been such a help to our school in so many ways. It's just great to be able to have a place to be able to have children have clothes. It helps me because it also helps kids be in compliance with the dress code. So if they're not in compliance with the dress code, we say let's go to the clothes closet and we can get clothes for them. But you know, on, on another level, it's just good to be able to have clothes that are available for children who need them. And you're here with their dad. Well, you don't know. Go ahead and put them in the girls' pile. I can't really tell. I feel good because I like to help other kids and it makes me feel good. And if you see an outfit, you know, a PJs that go together, totally put them together yes. so that way they have a whole outfit, okay? Yep, Please? It makes you feel good, like you're helping everybody in the school. Like yeah, it looks like not. And if you see anything that looks, you know, like sometimes they have kitty hair or needs washed, oh, we have two bins over hair. there, just oh. if you see it. I like put doing this because um, it helps kids that are that are in need, like sometimes kids would come in and there would be holes in their shoes and it, and it would help them to have well, clothes. Have our, our, our school goes to through to the uh, eighth grade. So we have some gals in here that might wear some little bit bigger sizes and not only that, we help their families. Two years ago, um, there was just stuff in here collecting dust and now this is an active place that has its own heartbeat as you can kind of feel the place has a vibe to it. and. And there's no stigma involved whatsoever. Kids just come here and they grab something as if they needed a pencil. And we um, we're able, we're, we're really proud of being in a type of community where people will spend their time, their efforts, and, and their resources to help kids get through the middle school. I mean, it's a tough enough time as it is. We've got our uh, size markers. So for the middle school gals, which is basically the adult sizes, from extra small, small, and then we go all the way to medium. Well, we started off, like I said, we had bins, and uh, we have a lot of children who'll come through here themselves and shop. And we wanted it to be like a little boutique. We were more interested when they, when they came in, we were, wanted to make sure they felt comfortable, that they weren't just going to a yard sale. We wanted to feel like they were getting some things that uh, were nice, and as you can see, we have a lot of very nice clothing. So that's what we did. We made it look more like a boutique. I really feel yeah, like, you know, you know, to be cliche, it takes a village to raise a child, but it really does, and what they're doing really goes beyond the mile of what, you know, um, a school needs to do, and they're really doing it. And what we do is just get them in, we look them over, make sure everything works, the zippers. It, like, makes me feel good, because, like, if they really need it, if they, like, can't afford nice clothes and they like some, something here, they can use it. Okay. And if they want to donate something here, for other for kids, example. they can. Yeah, because they get real messy, and what you need to do is just oh, kind of refold it up. And I had a little boy that came in working. recently, and he needed some shoes, uh, but he had no socks. And I asked him if he could use a pair of socks, and he said, socks, I, I don't have any socks. So it was very humbling. Um, touches my heart. Um, but they come in, and, and they feel like they've gone shopping, they're ecstatic. A uh, little girl I just helped this morning came in for some shoes and when she put them on, she was running around here and doing some skipping and it just really makes, makes your heart feel, feel good that you could help, help them feel good about themselves. It makes me feel really good because, um, because most of those kids, sometimes they don't even have a home. So it's good that we can help there, them have clothes. Like That's great. Let me know, and I'll just put it right where it belongs, okay? <laughs> They're changing our lives, too, you know, by uh, just letting us 
have this no, closet. Okay. That's, um, no, that's okay. It's just changed our lives and opened up our hearts to realize what a need there is for our kids. And, you know, I personally feel that if they feel good about themselves, if they've got clothes, if they've got shoes that fit, and they feel good when they walk into school, I think they do better in school. They feel school better about themselves. Um, unfortunately, we have teasing and different things that go on, and, and so these children don't have to feel that, that they get teased for wearing the same thing over and over, or clothes that don't fit properly, so they can feel good and feel fit in and just concentrate on school. You didn't make me, I'll be I would just take, I take the clothes and just throw them away. You do. That's what I do with my. That's what I do with my clothes. I just pop in the closet. Just throw them in the closet.